Hey, what's up everybody? It's your pal, George Gorbin. Um, I'm actually getting ready to go on an epic adventure to pick up my pal, Harlow Santana. And uh, we're gonna go to Party Pack. It's been a long time. And uh, we're gonna invest in some holiday brews that we can sample for this holiday season. You can see Harlow Santana in his natural habitat. Thank you. All right. And uh, the search for the holiday brew begins. Coconut Chardonnay is that's good. You say coconut? Coconut Chardonnay. Yeah, dude, that sounds disgusting. It kind of does. You know, when I think of Matt the holidays. Matt Dog's five bucks a bottle as it always does. Um, no, dude, it's gone up. That's inflation, bro. When I think of the holidays, I always think of delirium. And I always think of the one where he, he's got the Santa hat on. That was one of the first holiday brews that I remember seeing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got one of those bottles in the house, I believe. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> when you think of holiday brew, what do you think of? Shinerbach. Shinerbach. They do a holiday brew. Yeah, I used to drink a lot of Shinerbach. Yeah, so uh, I think of box. Uh, I think of Dunkles. Definitely dark beers come to mind mm -hmm. for me. Um, Anything heavy they can put, you know, cinnamon or nutmeg in or something stupid. Like that. Right, right. Something that they can go a little overzealous with mm -hmm. in some ways. But then when I see things come out like this black butt porter by Deschutes, the Chutes, I think of that as being like a nice wintry beer. Uh, it's probably pretty heavy and delicious, and it's a porter. Boom, and then you get the things like this, like a uh, Scotch ale. Oh, like, really it's nice. Bell's Christmas ale. Uh, That's so nice. It's a nice one, probably to try out. It's an obvious one. So then now you have obvious brews that are like, hey, we're Christmassy, or they'll have some bullshit things like, hey, we put some nutmeg in this. We put cloves in there. <laughs> This one. Cloves and cinnamon, uh, yuck. Oh, there's cinnamon right down there. It's not the Christmas one. So what is the Christmas one? I don't remember. I think it has some spices. I usually find it admire, it seems like. You got an Accumulation Winter Hazy IPA, New Belgium. Um, Sam Adams, yes, yeah. Sam Adams makes the obvious choice by saying winter lager. Haven't tried this one. The one they did last year sucked. What was that one we had last year? It was like more, it almost had a cherry flavor to it. It was too much. Uh, I don't know what you're thinking of. I can't think of it. There's a beer called Weed. <laughs> There's a beer called Weed? See over here. All right. Uh, weed Light. Huh. That sounds uh, worth it's checking like out. I fell off the truck. I got a deal on uh, Let's see here. Berry Weiss is kind of like a world, it's a year round one that I could kind of see being yeah. kind of Christmassy. Have we tried the collaboration lager yet? I don't think so. I feel like that's the one that I saw the ad for. I really wanted to try it. Lion Kugels has been a hit here lately, dude. That chocolate and that uh, other event. Yeah. Huge, huge. American Hop to Amber Lager. I think it'd be good. Looks good. Once again, we're you at. Can't handle the juice. <laughs> I love some of these games. They're ridiculous. Ooh, there's the delirium. Uh, look, is that the uh, Christmas one right there? It looks like Noel. Delirium Noel. Uh, do you mind bringing that down to say uh, the height of many others? Not me, of course, because I'm six oh, I'm one. I'm the bottle. Ten percent. Of course, uh, not me, because I'm I'm six one. <laughs> In your dreams. <laughs> They got Vine Stefaner, a definite favorite of mine. Off oh, Broadway. Oh, they got Broadway. a lot of German beers, a lot of import stuff. Oh, this is a great section. This is my favorite part here. Um, Date on this thing? I mean, for a dollar, are you really? Look how dusty that cap is. <laughs> it's gritty. <laughs> well, we got that one that one time. It was like three years old and it tasted like canned tomatoes. Oh, I know. It was delicious. It was terrible. I mean, we ought to get some of these for a discontinued beer episode. We 
should. We got micro brews coming. Show them. Ooh, look, look, here's two Christmas brews too, discontinued for a buck. So uh, we're, we're really getting pretty lucky with this. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get me a container thelio and we're gonna start picking up some holiday brews. Uh, more on this in a minute. So we found a few Christmas brews in the uh, clearance section. We got the uh, Barb Noel. So this is for a dollar. Uh, and we also got the Tse uh, Jesses. Jesses. I think you can't say that when you're drunk. Is it? Would you say you say that when you have to drunk? Yes. <laughs> so there's another one for a dollar. It's Belgian Xmas Ale. And then we got some of these other uh, expired brews that I'll uh, show you later. Some yeah. stuff. So you'll find some good ones in here sometimes. And some of the art on these is just ridiculous. Mm -hmm. These are awful, dude. Yeah, I remember those. Jeez. Could, give those away. Could not give them away. I'll tell you this much though, they were great for smoking with. Yeah, because you don't feel like you're wasting them. Right. Something to sip on. Yeah, someone was talking about these coming out. Like big the look lug. of them. Yeah, Big Lug Brew. And I said I really like the labels because they're very, like, just they cool. classic. It's crazy how dusty some of the bottles are. Yeah, they're not hiring anyone like to clean this place. Hoarding uncle's basement where he just keeps throwing LPs in the corner. This is the uh, the dinner bell of yeah of uh, delicious brew. Perry Township. I love, yeah, I love it. They don't give a shit. Like, like here, you can get in on close on it. It's there. There's nothing in it, but I'll still drink it.